whatever the class notes you have made like whenever you are listening the paid batch classes or by youtube sessions you might have learned uh, majority of the content whatever the test series you might have attempted and whatever the pvc questions that you have done so please mark the questions which were not solvable by you in the first attempt okay so don't spend time on all the questions which are available so make sure firstly you spot out the topics which are not in the syllabus eliminate them and just spend your time on the remaining part actually okay hello all i welcome you all back onto this channel i hope all of you are doing well so in this particular video we are going to look at how to get the maximum possible or 13 out of 13 in engineering mathematics okay because we are getting a lot of queries like, like sir gate exam is very nearby you know and maths has a lot of pyqs so how or what should be the best strategy in order to work out to get best possible marks in mathematics okay so in this video i am going to share you the ways in which you can optimize your marks okay so let's see if the first thing know your syllabus okay so many times it happens that without knowing the proper syllabus you try to attempt all the pyqs okay but in gate examination depending on the branch you have variations in the syllabus okay so before you start doing the pyqs or before you start learning anything new at this point of time it's very much important you don't spend your time on things which are not necessary for you okay so please make sure the limited and basically the correct exact points of your syllabus so please go through the official syllabus sheet that's provided in the gate 2025 website and sort out those topics only which are in the syllabus actually okay so first variations in the syllabus has to be clearly sorted out okay like for example if you see complex numbers is or uh, complex calculus is not for civil engineering people okay similarly for computer science you have only linear algebra then probability and statistics and calculus of course only single variable okay so these things are important you should have a clear cut idea on the syllabus variations the second thing which at this point of time since you have very less time try to revise whatever the things you have okay like for example many of you might have made a good class notes so at this point of time please don't go for the new concepts as much as possible because it's the last 20 days of the exam almost and if you fall in the third week of february till third week of january you can do some new topics okay but if that's not the case if your exam is in the first week then do not go for new topics at this point of time and spend all your time on revising the things okay and you can see revising the class notes so whatever the class notes you have made like whenever you are listening the paid batch classes or by youtube sessions you might have learned uh, majority of the content so whatever the notes you have please revise those things okay and at the last point we are doing so many maha revisions so attend this maha revision and for maths the maha revision is on 12th of january on get wala channel so a youtube channel i'll give you the links for the youtube channels so attend these maha revisions and practice sessions and all which would be very helpful at this last moment okay and also find applications in your core subjects like in your core subjects if you like if you look if you're from computer science okay you'll have a lot of subjects where you apply probability and statistics okay similarly in all other like core engineering branches you will find applications of calculus to a big extent like the transform theory and all so when you are trying to attempt those questions try to link whatever the maths knowledge you have so that it will be a quick uh, uh, very cumulative kind of revision actually okay so please revise the class notes whatever you have and then attend all the maha revision and the question practice sessions that we are going to organize okay and also lastly please link all your technical subjects uh, uh, places where you do little bit of math in your technical subjects to the engineering maths what you know so that will create a good connection okay and lastly whatever the test series you might have attempted and whatever the pvc questions that you have done so please mark the questions which were not solvable by you in the first attempt okay so in such cases when the time is short if you spend time on those questions then you can have a quick idea on the complete pyqs again so at this point of time solving these previous year questions is very important and also whatever the test series you have written till this point so review of that test series like whatever the questions we have made mistakes what are the locations where you have conceptual you know uh, not very clear about the concepts so all these things gets covered in this uh, review of test series questions okay and there there is a question like sir in maths there are plenty of pyqs kyunki, uh, like because maths is in each and every branch then how what pyqs we should solve actually okay so i am going to give you because i have solved almost some 500 plus pyqs in forming the books so pyq books so i would like to suggest these branches like for example if you are from mechanical then you can look at pyqs of mechanical civil ec and computer science okay and the syllabus of mechanical is uh, vast actually and it has pyqs of all the other branches okay then in case of civil engineering you can solve the civil engineering questions and mechanical questions okay and civil don't have complex numbers complex 
calculus actually here. Okay, so complex calculus, then EC. If you look at EC, then EC and EE, they don't have numerical methods. Okay, so these two, they don't have numerical methods. numerical methods actually here okay so you don't have numerical methods and obviously in case of computer science in ec solve only linear algebra then probability and statistics and basic calculus okay so the single variable calculus whatever you have so just solve these questions at this point of time okay fine then in the chemical you can go for chemical and mechanical questions okay so don't spend time on all the questions which are available so make sure firstly you spot out the topics which are not in the syllabus eliminate them and just spend your time on the remaining part actually okay and obviously as i told you a lot of mahayujans and all are being conducted these are the quick youtube links which you can have because uh, normally the mahayujans are conducted on this gatewala youtube channel you can just scan this it will directly uh, you know guide you to the youtube channel of gatewala where we have a lot of content which is available for free okay and also these are brand specific channels like one for the mechanical and mechanical civil xc and sh all your fast track or mahayujans or the crash courses will happen on these brand specific channels so depending on your branch you can go to one of the youtube channel and can have some uh, learning actually okay because at this point revising is the main crucial thing gate is not that kind of exam where you need lot of uh, you know uh, intellectual power to solve the questions no nothing like that okay gate is just about the practice and touch on various or the vast syllabus that you have okay so if you are thorough with the revision then anyone can excel very much in gate examination clear so that since the gate is very near i don't want to take much of your time so i have made a very short video in making you understanding the important things so i would quickly go through the things again whatever we have seen so firstly this identify the variations in the syllabus whatever we have then revise the th top class notes whatever we have till this point and do attend the maha revision sessions which could be very helpful for you at this point and please solve all the pyqs and the test series questions whatever we have made mistakes please review them so these are the key set of points which can minimize your time and maximize your marks actually at this point okay and you can see these are the branches pyqs which you can solve because you need not solve each and every branch pyqs so just stick to these things which could majoritily cover all the models in the respective papers and then please follow this youtube channels so that any content that's rolling out on this youtube channels you'll be notified and you can watch the video from the beginning okay thank you all and i would take a break from you because the gate is very near and i wish you all the best so i don't want to take much of your time so i made this video very short just giving the nutshell of what can be done thank you